squares, square roots, and visualizing them. An introduction. This is a square. The sides are the same length. The corners are all 90 degrees. The area is equal to the length times the width, or in this case, 1 times 1 is equal to 1 squared. The length 1 is not the same thing as the area 1 squared. In this case, 1 represents length, or distance, and 1 squared represents area. The sides are just one-dimensional, as they just have length. The middle part is two-dimensional, as it is the area surrounded by length in two directions. It is the x and the y. It is the area. Adding length in another direction makes the square a cube. But that is volume, and volume is beyond the scope of this lesson, so squares this... But that is volume, and volume is beyond the scope of this lesson on squares and square roots. So we'll get back to square one. The length of the side of a square can be called its square root. The square root of 1 is 1, and it is written like this in mathematics. The square root symbol looks like this. Any number times itself produces a product. For example, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 squared is 4. Any number times itself is also said to be squared. For example, 2 times 2 equals 2 squared equals 4. Likewise, 3 times 3 equals 3 squared, and that equals 9. 4 times 4 is 4 squared, and that equals 16. But what does this look like? What do 4 squares look like? Well, 2 squared, or 2 squared, or 2 times 2, looks like this. It equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The larger square has a length on each side of 2, and an area of four squares. The square root of an area, or four squares, is a length of two. The square root of four is two. Square root four equals two. But what is the square root of nine? Let's visualize it. Three squared, or three times three, equals nine squares the length of the side of a square that has an area of 9 is 3. The square root of 9 is 3, because the length of the side of the larger square is 3. Square root 9 equals 3. What does square root 4 look like? Well, 4 times 4 is 16. Here we have 16 squares. The length of each side of the larger square happens to be 4. 16 squares Square root of 16 is 4. Square root 16 equals 4. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 5 squared. 25 squares shown here. The length of the larger square per side is 5. Square root of 25 equals 5. 6 squared, or 6 times 6, is 36. 36 squares are shown here. The length of the side of the larger square is 6. Square root 36 is 6. So, what is the square root of 4? It is 2. What is the square root of 9? It is 3. What is the square root of 16? It is 4. What is the square root of 25? It is 5. What is the square root of 36? It is 6. This concludes your elementary introduction to square roots. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always welcome, appreciated, and encouraged. You may contact me at alanmorris at yahoo.com.